Hi friends, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are to determine the length of the red line, which is this side PR. We observe this is a semicircle and this is a quadrant. We have length of this line segment to be 2 meters. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the length of this line PR? Well, it is very simple. From this quadrant, it's obvious that this side is its radius. And this is also a radius. The length of this is 2 meters. Therefore, this must also be 2 meters. However, with respect to this semicircle, this side is its diameter. So from the midpoint, to each end is a radius therefore each of the radius will be half two meters in length that is one meter now back to this quadrant we know the central angle of a quadrant which is this is always a right angle so from here point P we draw a straight line to this point call it O now look at this triangle PSO, we observe a right angle in it and that implies that it is a right angle triangle. We can use the Pythagorean theorem which states that the square of the length of the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the length of the two other sides. The hypotenuse is a side facing the right angle which is this here. Let it be x. So by Pythagoras, x squared equal to 2 squared plus 1 square. 2 squared is 4. 1 square is 1. 4 plus 1 is 5. So x squared equal to 5. Take the square root of both sides of the equation. Here, square root of x squared is x. So x equal to root 5. That is this side PO is root 5 meters in length. We write it out line PO equal to root 5 meters. Now here we see this line PR touch this semicircle at this point. That is it is a tangent to the semicircle. From the circle theory there is a rule that the tangent of a cycle is perpendicular to its radius through point of contact. So from this point of contact, if we draw a radius of the semicircle, the angle formed will be a right angle. This is a radius, therefore its length is going to be 1 meter. Call this point Q. Now look at this quadrilateral. We have two adjacent sides with equal length, 1 meter each, and both sides are perpendicular to the other two adjacent sides. The only type of quadrilateral that has adjacent equal sides at the same angle each with the other two sides is a kite shaped quadrilateral. That is, this is a kite shaped quadrilateral, and we know the other two sides are also going to be congruent which are this and this. So since this is 2 meters, this must also be 2 meters. Now back to this triangle, assume the size of this angle to be A. Use the soccer tour on the triangle. Taking this angle as theta, this is the opposite, this is the adjacent, and this is the hypotenuse. From here, sin theta equal to opposite of our hypotenuse. Theta is A, opposite is 1, and hypotenuse is line PO. Line PO, we have its length here to be root 5. So sin A equal to 1 over root 5. We keep it aside. Back to this kite shape quadrilateral. A kite, like every other quadrilateral, has two diagonals 
However, in its case, it has a long diagonal and a shorter one. And the long diagonal always bisect the shorter one at right angle. If we draw out the second diagonal, it is obviously the short one. Therefore, this long one will bisect it at right angle. If we let this segment be H, this must also be H. Now to this triangle, it is also a right angle triangle. Use a socket wall on it. Taking this angle as theta, this is the opposite and this is the hypotenuse. We know sine theta equal to opposite of a hypotenuse. Theta is A, opposite is H, and hypotenuse is 2. So sine A equal to H over 2. Recall here, sine A equal to 1 over root 5. We substitute it here. So 1 over root 5 equal to H over 2. Cross multiply. Here, 1 times 2 is 2. And root 5 times H is H root 5. So 2 equal to H root 5. That is H root 5 equal to 2. Multiply both sides by root 5. Here, H root 5 times root 5 is 5 H. While here, 2 times root 5 is 2 root 5. So 5 H equal to 2 root 5. Divide both sides by 5. Here, 5 cancels 5. So H equal to 2 root 5 over 5. Once again, multiply both sides by 2. Here, 2 times H is 2 H. While he 2 root 5 over 5 times 2 is 4 root 5 over 5. So 2 H equal to 4 root 5 over 5. That is, the length of this line segment is 4 root 5 over 5. Now let's do something. This quadrant draw out a duplicate of it with everything in it except the semicircle. A quadrant is one fourth a cycle. We draw out the remaining three fourths. Now this is the center. This line, we extend it to touch the circumference. This segment definitely is a radius, which is two meters. And here, if we extend it to the circumference, it will also be a radius, two meters. But this part of it is 4 root 5 over 5. Therefore, this side, let's say Z, must be 2 meters minus 4 root 5 over 5. 2 minus 4 root 5 over 5, if we simplify into a single fraction, is 2 times 5 minus 4 root 5 over 5. 2 times 5 is 10. So it is 10 minus 4 root 5 all over 5. Here, this line segment, we assume its length to be y. So therefore, length of red line equal to 2 meters plus y. Here, we observe the red line is a code of the cycle. And this is also another code. They both intersect at this point. There is the intersecting code theorem that when two codes of the same cycle intersect at a point, the product of the segment of one code equals to that of the other. So here, the product of the length of this segment and this must be equal to that of this and this. So 2 times y equal to z times into bracket 4 root 5 over 5 plus 2. 4 root 5 over 5 plus 2 is 4 root 5 plus 2 times 5 all over 5. 2 times 5 is 10. So it is 4 root 5 plus 10. Recall Z. Its value is here. 10 minus 4 root 5 over 5. Substitute it here. 10 minus 4 root 5 over 5 times 10 plus 4 root 5 over 5 is 10 minus 4 root 5 
all multiplied by 10 plus 4 root 5 all over 25 expand it it is 10 times 10 plus 4 root 5 minus 4 root 5 times 10 plus 4 root 5 10 times 10 plus 4 root 5 is 100 plus 40 root 5 and minus 4 root 5 times 10 plus 4 root 5 is minus 40 root 5 minus 80 plus 40 root 5 minus 40 root 5 is 0 100 minus 80 is 20 20 is the same as 4 times 5 and 25 is the same as 5 times 5 this 5 cancels this 5 this 4 divided by this 2 is 2 so y equal to 2 over 5 meters come here substitute it 2 meters plus 2 meters all over 5 is 5 times 2 meters plus 2 meters all over 5 5 times 2 meters is 10 meters 10 meters plus 2 meters is 12 meters so red line segment equal to 12 meters over 5 which is 2.4 meters thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and also turn on notifications thank you